okay, this is unreal. In less than two days, in less than 48 hours, I've got these seeds sprouting. We're gonna get into this because these may be ready to plant now. Wow! Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California. I'm gonna keep it low because Gary's sleeping. It's another midnight planting with Robbie. So today I'm gonna to just use, not painted or anything, a food container. And I'm gonna use a piece of tool. I'm debating if I wanna cut it. I don't have to be so cheap with it because it's so cheap. You know what, I think I will cut it. I'm going to put the tool in here. I'm gonna cut it because I'll probably use it, this piece for something else. I don't need it. Now I've done full videos on this. And what I'm doing is I'm planting seeds with no holes. So I can sit this anywhere. When I'm ready, to transplant the seeds out of here, I grab this and I lift it. I'll be able to see all the roots underneath. And let me tell you something, the little roots that may come off in the tool doesn't hurt anything. So right now, this is bulk planting. So I can plant a whole bunch of seeds and then remove them because seedlings are really easy to transplant into other pots, whatever pots I wanna plant. So let me grab any spoon I've got tonight. And I wanna make sure that the tool is over the edge. You can always make a little rubber band or elastic band around this. I'm not gonna bother right now. Now this is kitty litter that's been washed. I'm gonna use this on the bottom because it's weighty. It will also absorb water. I just wanna make sure all the tool is on the outside. So, And for now, it will just hold water for me. That's the only reason I'm putting it down there. So. It will hold my tool in place and it will hold water for the seeds in case I forget to water them. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my potting soil. Now this is potting soil. Let me make sure it's all broke up. It's not sifted, but it is baked. I put this in a roasting pan with a lid. Now this is one of my roasting pans I haven't been using. There's nothing wrong with it. We eat from the earth, so if I wanted to, all I have to do is wash it and use it. I have so many of these. But if you want to designate your own, you can go get one from the thrift store. You put the lid on, you put your potting soil in there, and then you put the lid on it, and you put it in the oven, and you turn on the oven for three at 350, and you leave it in there for, well, bake it for 15 minutes. Doesn't matter if it's a little more, or a little less. At 350, 15 minutes. Then if you're not gonna do anything else right now, just turn it off and forget about it until it cools. Or you can take it out if you're gonna go to cook. Take it out of the oven. And then what you do is leave it. Do not open it while it's hot. There's nothing wrong with it, but the thing is it's gonna be steamy and stuff and let it all settle back in. So just put it aside somewhere on your stove or something and let it just sit there, all right? Then when you let it sit there and it cools down, then you can lift the lid off and it's good to go. You can use it anytime you want. The reason I like baking it is a few things. If you're using potting soil from, let's say a bag of soil that's been sitting outside, you don't know what got in it. It could be fungus, mold, and you know what? Even seeds, weed seeds could have blown in there. But by starting fresh with fresh baked soil, you know there's no bugs in here or anything that might get to your seedlings, all right? We're gonna talk about this over and over because this is fantastic. Because what if you took some soil from outside and you said, oh, it's clean, it's fine, I don't have to bake it. You didn't know it was open and you had weeds blow in there. South Thistle has the smallest seeds. You could be planting in here and then things come up and you're so excited. And what is it? Purslane. I've had that happen because purslane are real tiny and they pop and they fly in the air you could have other things coming up. When you've got it baked, and I keep this covered and leave it in the house, and when I need more, I bake more, you know what's coming up in here is what you planted. And today, we're gonna to plant some broccoli. Now, how old are these seeds? Let's see, these are from, okay, this is not bad, 12, 22. So they're just a little over a year old. So these are good to go. You know what, sometimes they're glued on the top. So let me open it from the bottom. Now we're not gonna plant a ton of them, but I'm just gonna plant some. If I do it on the bottom, let's see if we can open it. Oh yeah. Yeah, sometimes they're glued on the top and I go to open the seeds and I can't get them out and then I end up getting rid of what it is and everything. So look at it which way is easier. I can always open it on the side too and then fold it back. Now I'm gonna sprinkle a few in here. These are real cheap. These are from Dollar Tree. I love Dollar Tree and 99 cent store seeds. Kind of sprinkle them around. 
I know I'm going to have more than I need, but you know, I'll find places for it. And you don't know how many are going to come up. But here's the thing. Don't use up all your seeds. So this way I can come back. Look how much is in there. It's quite a few, see? Okay? So now we can fold this over. I should label it, but for now I'll just lay this near here. And let's cover those seeds. Now I could have watered it first, but that's okay. Now you could, if your tap water is fine to drink, it should be fine for you. We also have a purified water system that we use for the dogs. Can you imagine we got purified water for, just for the dogs? But you could use that for your seeds in the beginning, or you can use tap water. If you've got chloramine in your water, which sometimes they used to put in here, for seedlings, I would use then bottled water or boil it, but chloramine is a tough one to get out. But our, our water has chlorine, and that little bit's not gonna hurt your seeds. I know for a fact. Okay, we're gonna get this really watered, and I'm not going to drain this until tomorrow. It's very easy to drain if I need to drain it when you put too much in there. Now what I'm gonna do, a little tea strainer here. It's not that important, but you could. You just sip. So some, some people are worried, oh, there's gonna be big stuff there. The seeds can't get through. You know how nature is. Let me tell you something. The seeds push 10 times, 100 times their weight to get through. It's amazing how strong seedlings are. But if you worry about it, get yourself a little strainer. And just for the top, don't worry about the bottom, roots are going to wiggle around and find their way around. The roots will be fine, but you can just put a little bit on the top. Now we're good. Now look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now we can put a cover on this. This has this, we could cover this for a couple days like this. You could just lay it on top to keep the moisture in. And like I said, if you accidentally put too much water, I really normally would lift it right this second because I just put the seeds, but you could just bundle this up. And see the water underneath? You can pour the water off. I am not gonna pour the water off. So you're saving containers. You got food containers and you think, gee, I need a plant like, 20 of these containers and I've saved them, but I've only got 20 and I have to make the two system like I do. One's got drain and the other one doesn't, which means I've only got 10 planting pots. Well, now you only need one. You wanna paint it, you can paint it. But right now you've got one. This is gonna be perfect. And when you go to plant these, you lift this whole thing out. This is gonna, I'll make a mess out of my, my, my um, counter here. And you sit it down and once it starts to grow, all the roots will be holding the soil. I'll put this here for a minute. You open this up, you take out the plants that you want. It's the easiest thing. You pull out the ones that you want, and then you just sit it back in your container. So if I want to transplant only three or four of them, but there's 20 of them up, it's the easiest thing because you're going to lift it out. Nothing else gets disturbed. You're going to take out the ones you want and then put this back until you're ready to plant the rest. I do it all the time, check my old videos, but it works. So for now, we'll just leave this and I'll just sit. This is not a good thing. You know what, if it's wet, you wouldn't sit it on there, but I could just sit it for now on there or I can label it if I want. I can label the lid. I can write on the lid because we don't need the lids, but let's write on the side in case we wanna use the lid. Let's see if the lid is, it's gotta be nice and dry and you can put And then, um, I don't even know what the date is offhand. There he is, it is, you can't see my R, but that's good enough. Now you know what it is. You can put how many you put in there too, if you want, I, I didn't count. But I can go back and look at my video that I just made. I Many times I just do this stuff when I record it for myself. And I'm thinking, well, maybe I should share it with you. Tell me in the comments underneath if you want to see these quick little videos that i do you know not planning to share something this quick and simple if you like it i'll keep going and if i don't see any comments underneath that where you say you don't like it i won't do it i'll just do regular other videos but this is just me working in the kitchen in the middle of the night getting some seeds done so i just did this two days ago in the middle of the night so it was midnight the 17th and the point was I was going to put the video up and I could not believe that the seeds were already germinating. 
So the ones on top were showing the roots, the little tail roots starting to grow, so I covered it up real quick. But what I could do is fill these up with some of that potting soil and kitty litter if I want and plant them, but I think I'll do it in the next couple days and maybe I'll take you with me on that. But the point is broccoli is ready to grow right now. Now I also want to discuss the little heat mat that's underneath. I bought that last year and it's really handy because you can put the little pots on top, you can put containers on top, and I have it here in my windowsill. And it will give a gentle heat because it's only about six watts. That is nothing and very little heat, but easy to place anywhere. I'll show you in the next few days how I made a little indoor greenhouse as well. But look how nice it sits on the windowsill and I can plug it in and it can enjoy the sunlight. And I'll show you where I bought it because it was about $11 from Walmart. But you can look anywhere and get it anywhere you want if you want a heat mat. Don't use a heat pad because those are 60 watts and that's too hot. This is only six. So I hope I gave you some ideas on all this. And I just love doing gardening in the middle of the night. And since you stuck with me all this way, let me show you another great tip. Now there is another way to keep your tools snug on your food containers. Cut the center out, don't throw the center away. You can make a label out of that for your plants. Tuck your tool in there and then just snap on the top with no more center. Now your tool's not gonna go anywhere. You can put your soil in there and you can plant and you also have a plant stake out of the top. Completely recycling all your plastic here. Cool. So with that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Everybody's sleeping. Even Zoe's sleeping. Bye-bye.